a lot of people are going to need some reason to come to West Virginia. You know, they don't necessarily connect that this is a world-class climbing area. I find climbing insanely intellectually stimulating. I, I think about roots, I think about movement, I think about balance. When I was a little kid, I climbed up everything. I climbed up trees and buildings and dirt and cliffs. So I think it's, it's just in me. Climbing was a sport that I could do, and I felt good about, and I felt good when I did it. You know, I want to go climbing. West Virginia, that sounds good. Gay climbers in West Virginia, that sounds interesting. When you can do an activity with a lot of gay people and have fun, it's like it changes the game. I never want it to be like those god-awful gay cruises. It's tongue-in-cheek, it's irreverent, and at the same time, really compassionate. I was an outsider, and so I didn't want to be the outsider anymore, and, and I thought, well, I knew that other people had to feel the same way somewhere else in the country. It's really hard for normal people to understand what that would feel like. Well, homosexuality is found in every species, and I was like, well, good, because it's found in me. <laughs> but, you know, I don't do crack. <laughs> Whatever. Well, I think that's the tranny bar over there, and that's actually Leather Night. Oh, God. <laughs> they're open, they're friendly, they like to have a good time, but they treat each other with respect and treat uh, everybody else with respect. At the end of the day, I still wanted to be about rock climbing and about climbing hard. Welcome to Homo Climb Fantastic, everybody. Yeah!